All right, on your upright, you want about an inch and a quarter height on this screw on the bottom of the upright. Your base leg hooks in. You can kind of eye it. You want to make sure that it's higher than the upright on the, the actual gondolas. First thing you want to put in is your kick plate. It slides into your base leg. Next you want is your bottom rail. The hooks go into the bottom rung here on both uprights. Next on the list is your back board, which you'll want two people to do on this. Backboard slides in just like that. Middle rail is next. It was about just too high. In the middle around there. Next on the list is pegboard. Again, you want two people to help you with this. Slide that in. And then bend this back. So you get in there and then slide it down. Next on the list, top rail, which goes on the top rung. Pegboard should fit in. Now what you want to do is push the uprights until they're touching the bottom of the gondola. Because the next thing you're going to do is take a screwdriver. This is a 5 16 flathead. And you're going to screw the screw up on the base leg. And you're going to keep screwing it until you get about half an inch away from the bottom of the gondola. It's like a lot of fun. Oh yeah. See the upright is starting to slide because then it's starting to get tight on the top. You do the same thing on the other side. Once you've done that. Next on the list is your base leg trim. Slides on the outside of your base leg. Then you go put the deck on. There's, there's got to be somebody from back down. I think we've turned it around. Alright, so 10 holes in between each. trim. On both uprights. And 
And that's how you do the gondolas for the end caps.